Welcome back to Wolfenstein, the new order. We just blew up a train because there's somebody on it who has credentials that we need to get to the Nazi lunar base. So that we can get, what is it, the launch codes for nuclear warheads or something like that? Need more. Shit, they saw me. Hold on, do I need more pistol kills? I think I do. Actually, I don't. Yeah, it looks like next thing I want to go for probably is dual-wield kills. So let's dual-wield some probably assault rifles. Oh, this song is really cool. I feel like most of the songs that I hear in this game are, for some reason, so quiet I can barely hear them. But this one I can really hear. I just recently learned, by the way, the soundtrack for this game was composed by Mick Gordon, um, who also did the Doom soundtrack, and also the Prey soundtrack, too. Is this not where I'm supposed to go? Oh, down here. in the passenger cabin. You need to keep a low profile. You may need a shave and a haircut. You certainly need some sleep. You'll need to recover your equipment from the luggage area once you've arrived at the lunar base. Finally, you need to find those nuclear decryption keys. And just like that, we're at the Nazi lunar base. Can you read that if you'd like? I love those cuts. I love how quickly it just goes from one thing to the next. Without missing a beat. It's so rare that I can just get up close to them and I'm not an enemy. Big mood. God, look at that death stare. Thank you. 
hat den großen Krieg, wie ich vermute. Gut, einen anderen Veteran zu treffen. Einen produktiven Tag noch. Hallo, Herr Chefwissenschaftler. I think our luggage is in here. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Caroline, Anya, do you read? <laughs> well, I'm on the motherfucking moon. The mouse on this one. I will clean it out with soap. Now, Blaskovic, the goal here is to steal the nuclear decryption keys located in the command module. In order to reach the command module, you have to find a spacesuit and walk there on foot across the lunar surface. Affirmative. I believe in you, William. Just out of curiosity, because Blaskowitz was having a radio conversation with the Resistance back on Earth, I was wondering, what is the delay for a radio transmission to reach the moon from Earth? And according to Google, it's 1.27 seconds. There's something else to cut here, wasn't there? No, I guess not. Things are about to get very not stealthy. I think this thing, if you open it, or like, shoot that thing off and then open it, I think it just like shoots steam out, I guess to damage enemies or something. You got a new space themed pistol. Does it have a silencer on it? I think it does, but I can't seem to take it off, weirdly enough. Yeah, that's silenced. Let's go back out this way. laser. Marksman rifle is an upgrade with a laser beam module, useful when engaging enemies at close to medium ranges. Okay, so now it's kind of an all-range weapon then, huh? Close to medium and then its default mode would be good for a long distance, right? Ah, and I've got one now. Wait. I can't switch modes. So the marksman's rifle isn't really a marksman's rifle at all anymore. I mean, it doesn't have a scope, and you definitely can't aim finely at enemies from afar like this. Uh, it says C to toggle between regular bullets and laser. But I can't. a little bit stealthy. Oh, I have, <laughs> have no ammo for the pistol left. Okay, throwing knives it is.
I was about to try to right click to like try to zoom in, but that would just shoot my right weapon, which would make everybody know that I'm here. I'm glad I didn't. Okay. Actually, yeah, let's still wield them. There's one commander. Why did you have to fall forwards like that? Where's that next commander? Straight ahead of me. Alright, that's fine. I took out the other commander. Dual wheel time! Oh, they were the only one that was left. Yeah, so I assume this hurts, right? Huh. <gasps> oh! It's not steam. It's, I don't know, something that's explosive. It doesn't hurt on its own. You shoot it, then it explodes. Okay, try number two. This time, let's go in guns blazing. I took out one commander. The next one is here. <laughs> okay, that was odd. I keep pressing reload to try to reload these. You don't reload them. You recharge them. Let's try another one. That doesn't look right. That doesn't look right at all. It's like it's being deleted from the world too fast. Targeting scope. Oh, that's for this thing. I thought it was for the marksman rifle. Hmm. That's interesting. I remember seeing this in the playthrough uh, that I watched somebody playing this game, and I remember never quite understanding how this is a scope in any way. It's terrible and weird. It kind of like lights up when you're looking at enemies with it, and I never understood what the point of that was. I guess we'll see more of it later. Leading from the crew quarters to the laboratories. Try to figure out 
figure out a way to access it, William. This is the wrong one, right? Yes. Hold on, the commanders are pretty close to me. Oh, there's one just across the hall. Well, so much for that. I think someone just blew themselves up. Different tactic. Just going guns blazing. Change things up. Everything's out of power. Looks like you can only charge one weapon at a time. Aww, that's cute. The original Wolfenstein. Right, this one too. I kind of wish they all charged at the same time. It's kind of cumbersome. July 10th, 1948, the war is over. The Nazis have declared victory. People are celebrating the peace. I can't stop crying. For me, this war is never ending. I don't see any commanders nearby.
Alles in Ordnung? That's quite a death. One knife did all that. Looks like they got blown up by a landmine. This really should be faster. Notice that these bigger chargers actually charge you faster. Oh, wait, that just took me back here, didn't it? Or have I not been here? I don't... Maybe I haven't been here. I'm not sure. I'm confused. Either way, I think this is where I need to go. November 16th, 1951. The Nazi appears to have a hot temper. I learned this as I attempt to smash his head with a flower pot I dropped from my apartment window. Sadly, I missed. He had friends nearby. They broke my door down. I said it was an accident, but they gave me a black eye and spit on my dress. I want people on my side I can rely on. My grandparents are on my side, but they are not fit to fight. gravity. July 17th, 1955. The Nazi appears to be a choosy bachelor. I learned this as we sat on a picnic blanket in the Meadowlands. He said he would kiss me if I bleached my hair blonde. I was nauseated by his request, but as long as I smile and hide the hate, no one is suspicious of me. So he drank the wine I spiked with sedatives. And I rolled him down a shallow grave. Ooh. Quick reload. That would be just for getting dueled. Um, kills, right? Grace's weapon reload speed. Nice. What should I be going for next? Still need more kills from cover using the assault rifle. I don't I don't think you get the assault rifle on the moon base. At least I don't have it yet. Shotgun, I don't think I have a shotgun either. Guess there's not too much to focus on. Maybe grenades? Kill a commander with a grenade. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, I think I've gotten most of the ones I want. Oh, I need a five more dual wield kills to increase ammunition storage for all standard weapons. And increases the chance of dual wield dismemberment.
Oh Jesus! I remember this moment. I totally I forgot about this moment. This woman, I know well. Sylvian, the will of fire, and the family gone, all of them yet. Faith, faith kept her going. I, I, I cannot believe it's that certainty. For me and everything, there must be doubt. Otherwise, there's no room to question the plan. And, gosh, look at this place. This is the fruit of unquestioned, ferocious conviction. This is where absolute certainty leads. Yet you are a believer. Uh, I often wonder what kind of a God would sanction suffering such as this, and I question myself whether my faith is misplaced. Maybe he's testing us. Well, Jim Shin, if he is testing us, we are failing gloriously. Duh. Duh. Fucking hell. So disgusting. Did you even put a bandage on? You didn't even put a bandage on it. What the fuck? I think it. I think it says something about his mental state. That in the middle of a mission, he just sees a scalpel and just says to himself, Oh, I'm just gonna cut my flesh. I mean, I know he's cutting off the, the ID number that was tattooed on him in the, the work camp but the Nazis, so I, I understand wanting to get that shit off your body as soon as possible, but in the middle of a mission? He would, he would be bleeding so badly right now, and the chance of infection would be so high, especially without any bandages or anything. Like, it's just a horrible idea, it's... I don't know, it's just so weird. Blaskowitz is just such a weird, violent person. All right, so There's an encryption decryption database mainframe inside the war room. Find the war room. Access the computer and print out the nuclear decryption keys. So I want to kill a commander with a grenade. I've got one grenade. See a commander over there on the left. Let's see where they are on the map. One straight ahead, and then the one to the left. Yeah. Shit. What the hell? Why can't I go up there? There we go. Mm. Yes, I. No, I didn't quite get him. They fell down, but. Uh. my targeting thing. Oh, I'm in the wrong mode, aren't I? Maybe, you know, the, um, the targeting scope, maybe it's like an auto-aim. Is that what it is? I'm gonna try to test that. Oh, it is! I guess as long as it's lit up somewhere in this targeting scope, that means it'll automatically hit it. 
Okay. Nice. Now I need another grenade. I'm all out. Yeah, it's actually going to be pretty tough to kill a commander with a grenade now that I think about it, because they hear you or see you throw the grenade. Because I think I've thrown a grenade on somebody before, maybe off camera. And just, I guess they heard it or felt it hit them when I threw it at their feet. So they have enough time to run away, which means I guess I need to kill them, like corner them or something and throw it at them in the middle of battle rather than at the start of battle. December 24th, 1956. My heart is breaking. Friends I've known my whole life have all become Nazis. Mother and father are not happy about it, but they comply rather than resist. I feign my smile and act cheerful, but I have started to resent my own parents. I am 33 years old. I am all alone in the world. Okay, I think we just got a checkpoint there, so I think I'll end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to print out the nuclear decryption keys.